twist. Do it yourself, sis. Welcome to our first episode of Do It Yourself, Sis. I'm Yama. I'm Monet. And today we'll be doing some Do It Yourself fashion design. So I will be wrapping a bag. And I'll be wrapping a pair of sandals. So we are going to do a step-by-step -step, um, how-to video to show you guys how to make these projects. And we'll have all of the materials listed in the description bar below. Down below. So make sure that you like and share this video. And comment and subscribe as well. And we do look forward to hearing your suggestions of more do-it-yourself sis projects that we should look into. Yes. And make sure you guys stay tuned for our upcoming videos. We'll release a new video every Wednesday. And hopefully we'll see you again. Without any further ado, come on in. So for this project, you're going to need some fabric, some active wear adjustable sandals, some fabric scissors, and some fabric glue. You, what you're gonna need to do with your fabric is cut them into strips. I don't measure them. I think they're like close to one inch. And I normally just fold my fabric in half. So I have it in half and I normally just eyeball it and I just, just cut with my scissors, just straight up. So once I have my fabric cut into the strip, I like to just make sure it is completely even. And I normally will just cut it right at the fold. Fold it in half and then cut it right at the fold. And then that's it. You have like four strips of fabric. So once you have a bunch of cut strips like this, you want to start gluing. So I really do love this glue. It dries like completely clear, which that's what you want because you want to be wearing these sandals out and you really don't want to have like chunks of dry glue on your sandals. It's not gonna look nice. These sandals, you wanna adjust them to fit your foot because once you cover this top part and this ankle part, you won't be able to adjust them again. Um, but what's cool about these sandals, they have a back adjuster where that's how you're gonna literally slide your foot into the sandal and tighten it for comfort. That's how you're gonna put the sandals on. So these sandals are really good for this project. Um, I don't know if I would recommend any other sandal because I've only seen sandals that have the, the two front adjusters and not the back. So this one is a good for this DIY project because it has the back adjuster um, to help slip your foot in and um, make it a little snugger. I already tried these on and have them already adjusted to my foot size and comfort. So all you're gonna need to do is get your strips of fabric and you are going to start with one sandal and what i like to do is have extra fabric hanging off the ends i don't know if you guys seen these sandals that came out i'm not sure when but i think it's by australia love and they have like these bandana sandals that have bandanas wrapped around them and the bandana pieces kind of hang on the end parts and i really like that style i'm gonna have my fabric pieces hang a little longer on this side as well as this side because i kind of like that look and that aesthetic of like just looking like a little loose and fringy and flowy so all i like to do is just cut this tab off because this tab is going to get in the way <music> 
when I get started, all I do is have my glue on hand and I like to just start here because when you start here, you're gonna continually wrap to this end and that's where your pieces is gonna end up hanging. This part, I kind of like to sloop it inside first to kind of cover a little bit of the black of the sandal. And just make sure you press it down really good to kind of make sure it's like adhering to, the fabric is adhering to the sandal. So I think I'm gonna loop it one more time and just let it sit out here because I want that to hang. And I'm just gonna grab another piece of fabric and do the same thing here. I'm probably gonna start right here. And this is this fabric's this 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 piece of fabric is pretty big. So <laughs> I probably don't need to, I don't have to wrap it too much. And you want to make sure you like pull it a little a little tight the fabric's not going to really be able to adhere to the sandal if you don't make sure it's a little tight so i'm gonna loop i'm gonna loop it through Let's see how that looks yeah that's good i like that at the end i'm going to probably just tie all these loose pieces into a little knot and then just cut the extra um, fabric that I don't want on there. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this top part. Your next step will be adding some glue to the small corner end pieces of your sandal and you're going to do the same process. You're going to wrap them and bring the extra fabric through the loop. My battery on my camera died so I only had recording for the second sandal so this part is really important I wanted to make sure I edited it in um, you guys are going to get a piece of fabric and you're going to just glue it on the back strap and it's really simple you don't have to wrap it you're just basically gluing on top of the adjustable strap with a piece of fabric The next 
next step is to tie your pieces of loose fabric in a knot. just to cut off some of the extra fabric that's hanging down I like to cut mine into a ribbon shape so it's basically like a V shape and once I trim it I always like to try it on my foot to make sure it's the perfect length are finally finished they are super adorable I love them so stick around for Yama's DIY project coming up next for this project what you will need is an old purse I have some leftover fabric a pair of fabric scissors or crafting scissors a paintbrush to get those hard to reach spots a paint spatula some tacky glue, and a paper plate to dispense your glue into. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fabric out and I am gonna unfold my fabric just to kind of gauge where I want, what part of the design that I want the bag to go on. Because this, this part of the design is what I want at the top of this bag here, I'm gonna cut below the line down here. So you always wanna make sure that you have more fabric than you actually need. Because I am going to be measuring between here, I'm just gonna sit my bag dead center. And again, you always want to over, over measure. And this is a project that, you know, oftentimes like when I'm getting ready to go out and things like that, I love to wear head wraps. So when I'm getting ready to go out, I, if I'm wearing a certain head wrap and I have extra fabric left over from it or something like that, or I got something made um, and I have extra fabric left over, wrap a purse really quickly. So a lot of the times it doesn't take me more than 30 minutes or so. All right, so I put the bag inside my fabric just so I can make sure of where I want the placement to be. Um, I'm using this center burgundy line as my guiding point. So I want it to be on the, the bend of the bag or the fold of the bag, excuse me. I'm, I'm very African, we called it bend. <laughs> so. All right, so I'm gonna just look at it one more time just to make sure I like how that's looking. Forgot to mention these in the, <laughs> in the introductory, but I'm gonna use my little clips. From there, it's just gonna hold my place for me. I'm not, I'm not opposed to using what you have. Binder clips work just fine too. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue. Here. So I'm gonna remove one of these clips. Make sure it's taut over the bag. And then the first place I'm gonna start from is inside the corner here. Now I like to use this little spatula thing. And as I put some on the fold and you don't want to oversaturate it you just want to make sure it's enough that it sticks but not too much that it seeps through the fabric or makes the other side of the fabric too wet so once I do that I like to kind of pinch it and smooth it out So 
once I have that in place, now I can go ahead and start laying down the glue for the rest of the bag. I like to go in the middle first. And because my bag is one that is, it has like kind of like a quilted pattern in here, um, you wanna be careful that you don't have concentrations of glue in between um, those little ridges. Make sure when you get to the edge, you wanna put a little bit more because the worst thing that you can do for your bag is to have it looking all nice and pretty and it starts to lift up. And again, the smoothing out is very important. All right, so now that I'm done this side, I'm gonna flip the bag over. All right, and then I'm gonna proceed for this side. So I'm gonna remove this. Now we have both sides covered and clear. All right, so I like to start from the bottom, the bottom half of the bag. For a person that has a bag that has a lot of different like complexities to it, um, you will wanna use an X-Acto knife or use your paintbrush and stuff like that to get into these little nooks and crannies area. The only part that I have on this bag that's a little um, complicated is I have a little ring on the side here. And um, this little ring has this little, for this little strap. So I'm just gonna cut a little hole on the side and it's just a little slit. the little hole. I'm only really folding into right before the zipper. So I'm going to cut off this strip here because I do like this pattern and I want to use that pattern. From this side, I'm just going to fold this piece over here. I'm gonna go to the other side. So for me, for this point, I do like to cut the edge a little bit just because my edge is rounded. So once I cut it, I'll you know have a better idea of where to lay because the last thing you want to do is to have a rounded edge and then when you fold it up, it gives you this little like gap here. So because of that, I, I don't cut it all the way across. Like I still leave myself some room. I'm just gonna cut this piece off here. And then I'm gonna just cut in like a little triangle. So I like to start from one angle. Cut across. And, and I'll take it right up to the base. And once I cut that little triangle piece, it'll be easier for me to give it a shape. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit more here. So from here, we're gonna do a little, uh, you don't even need all of this fabric actually. So with my little triangle piece here, I'm just gonna take that, put a little bit of glue in the corner here and kind of like the little pathway that it would lay and then bend back, pull towards you and then flip up. All right, so once you do that, you will have a corner that's rounded like this. So we're gonna repeat the same process on the other side.
So I'm gonna fold over a piece of the fabric here and I'm just gonna see how it looks. So once I fold it, it kind of gives me seams vibes. <laughs> so it kind of looks a little bit more finished in here. So this is the look that I'm going for. So I'm gonna remove the one side, peel it back very slowly. Um, before I start doing anything, underneath this fold, I just wanna smear just a little bit of glue. It's not a lot, but just enough to secure my fold. Cause if you sew or anything like that, this would be like your, your hem. And this one, this side here, same thing. It started from the edge. over just to do the baby's peeling job just to <laughs> just to do the inside the inside lining here so I'm gonna end in here where this little lip is and um, like I said this bag is an old bag so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glue inside here I just pretty myself explanatory all right so I'm gonna put clips clips here. It looked like we just did surgery on this bag. I'm gonna fold the material over. I'm also gonna have to, as you can see, I cut myself short, which is something that you don't wanna do, but I did it. So, I mean, I do it so you can just learn from me. <laughs> so with that, I'll just take a piece of extra fabric like this little pattern here so I might go with that I'm gonna give myself about two finger spaces out and before I cut all right but before we get to this I'm gonna put this to the side before we get to this we still have to do our under layers and make sure that our corners are rounded off the same thing we did for the bottom of the bag So I just did the perimeter, the fabric that we put to the side to line the middle of the bag with. Um, I'm pulling that out. So I'm just gonna start that right where the fold is. So for this side, we're gonna pretty much do the envelope fold, like how we did um, with the bottom part of the bag to create our little, um, our little fake hem. Okay. So the bottom part is the only part that I'm not gonna be folding to create that little um, faux hem. So because of that, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glue all around, the, all down the bottom. Go 
going to fold this back this way. And this is going to be directly on the edge. Remember, we have that other piece of fabric underneath. So it kind of gives us a little bit of forgiveness. This is just so I can figure out where to cut. This end down here with one of my clips. I'm gonna take another one of my clips and secure up here. For this last part, I'm just gonna switch it up a bit <laughs> because that one, the tacky glue is it's a little bit tacky. Like it's a little bit, so I'm gonna use a uh, fabric fusion just for the top part. Here, I'm just gonna take my scissors and just round it out. All right, and the same thing that we did from that side, I'm just gonna take my scissors and kinda round it off. And then the same thing I did for the other side, I just took a little bit of glue and sealed the, sealed the perimeter. We have our bag and it does have a magnetic clasp it does need to dry but this is our bag and this is it opened I like how it turned out we have finished our project and we are out here taking photos yes and we hope you enjoy watching bye Everybody, 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 everybody